Welcome to this link lotion instruction video. I really hope it will help you enjoy your time in the saddle, even more. The method we're about to show you here, is the one with the chain removed from the bike. See more about the chain on method, in our video that covers that. And remember, it's important to do it carefully, especially the first time, when you go from sticky, filthy mineral lubricants to clean, dry wax. The first step, is to pre-wash the chain. Remove the rear brake pads, if you are really serious, and cover the brake disc. Then use a chain scrubber, filled with lamp oil. Don't forget to recycle it afterwards. Clean the gears, with a brush and lamp oil, and then rinse everything with water. Now, it's important to dry the entire driveline, as quickly as possible, to prevent corrosion. Use paper towels or a rag, and maybe a hair dryer if you have one. It's to prefer if you have access to compressed air. If you do, blow everything dry, especially the chain. Do not blow hard near bearings, ceilings and other similar parts. Dirt and contaminants can enter them. Finish off, by spraying an alcohol water solution, or brake cleaner, on the brake disc and blow it dry. Don't forget to refit the brake pads, if you removed them. After removing the chain, accordingly to the manufacturer's advice, secure all parts that are meant to be used again to the chain. Use a piece of thin wire, and a longer one in the other end. Lower the chain in a suitable jar, and start the cleaning process. Thoroughly cleaning, is essential to be successful. Bike Puns laboratories use gasoline, degreaser, dish detergent, and finally alcohol. In that order. Step 1. Gasoline. Pour half a liter or so in the jar, and shake for a minute. Let it rest for at least an hour, then do some more shaking. Recycle the gasoline, and repeat the process, two or three times, depending on how ugly your chain was, at the beginning. Skip the waiting these times, but not the shaking. Step 2, Degreaser. Do exactly the same as with gasoline. But no waiting, and only one time is necessary. Shake well, and then, recycle. Step 3, Warm water and dish detergent. Pour, shake and throw away. Repeat at least three times. It's the cheapest step, so be generous. Step 4, Alcohol. We prefer concentrated windshield washer fluid. It's also cheap, and works well. Pour, shake and recycle. Repeat at least one more time. Now, it's time to dry. Blow the chain thoroughly with compressed air, and after that, if you are really serious, warm up the chain to get rid of any residual moisture. The chain must be completely dry, and degreased, before the next essential step. The dip. Put the chain in a clean small container with a lid. The goal is to cover the chain, while using no more link lotion than necessary. Shake gently and move it around, so that all the chain links open up, letting the lubricant inside of them. This is very important to succeed. Let it rest for a while, then repeat the shaking and resting, a couple of more times. Now, pull the chain slowly out of the container, to let it drip off. Reuse, what's left over. Put the chain on a rag, or an oven rack if you have one, to let it dry completely. Preferably overnight. When the chain is completely dry, and covered with a snowy layer of paraffin, it's now time to activate link lotion. The basic principle, is to smear out the paraffin in a thin coating, that covers the entire chain. It's quite an easy job, if you for example put the chain on a simple wooden board, with some nails in it. Start with a rag, and move on to wire brushes. We prefer soft, steel, 
brass and finally a nylon brush. Do not clean or remove the white bits between the links. They are needed to put an important layer of paraffin lubrication on the cogs of the chain rings. In other words, when you crank the chain, this job will be done automatically. The most important part of the activation process is of course to perform it on the inside of the chain links. But this is done later by cranking the chain several revolutions unloaded after it has been refitted on the bike. Use a larger brush or compressed air to clean the bike from all the paraffin flakes that have landed everywhere, which is inevitable. A minor period of running in the chain is now needed, but soon enough it will spin and shift like a silent dream. And it will remain to perform like that for more kilometers than you can ever imagine. After a dirty or wet ride, use only a brush, water and gentle blowing to clean the chain. Do not use any solvents from now on. We want to get rid of the dirt, not the remaining paraffin coating. After drying, apply a small amount of link lotion and run the activation process to perform maintenance lubrication. All we have mentioned in this video is our way of doing it. And it works for us. Please feel free to experiment and let us know in the comments if you invent some improvements. Thank you. And have a happy ride.